Hello students. So in this lecture, I am going to discuss a numerical based on Snell's law. So in the last class, we saw the Snell's law. So we will discuss a numerical based on that. So let's start this lecture. So I have written a numerical. Just read out a light ray incident on a glass air to glass interface with an angle of 30 degree means. A light ray is incident on air to glass interface. So this is air, this is glass. Light is incident on air to glass interface with an angle of 30 degree means this is given at 30 degree. So when a light passes from one medium to another medium, it deviates from its path. So what is the refractive index? If the glass refractive index is given as 1.5. Then find the angle, refractive angle or the refract, angle of refraction we have to find. This is our normal and this is incident ray. So angle between incident ray and normal is called angle of incident which is given as 30 degree. Now what is the refractive index of air? So refractive index is defined as the ratio of speed of light in air to the speed of light in that medium. So that medium, if that medium is air, what is the value of refractive index? That is equal to 1. So refractive index of air is equal to 1. So now 2. If this is air, this is glass. This has a this medium has a refractive index of 1. This medium has a refractive index of 1.5. So which one is denser medium? The medium which has high value of refractive index is called denser medium. So this is denser medium, this is rarer medium. So when light passes from rare to denser, it bends towards the normal. It will not pass straight. It will bend towards the norm normal because this is the denser medium. So we have to find only the angle of refraction. See. So we have to find this angle. Now this angle can be found out using Snell's law. So according to Snell's law, mu1 sin i that is equal to mu2 sin r where i is called angle of incidence and this r is called angle of reflection mu2 is the refractive index of medium 2 mu1 is the refractive index of medium 1 so in this example medium 1 i am calling this as a medium 1 and this is medium 2 so medium 1 is air so refractive index of air is 1 into sine of incident angle. So incident angle is 30 degree. So sine of 30 that is equal to mu2. So the refractive index of this medium which is 1 given as 1.5. So we have to find out angle refractive angle r. So if we calculate this part sine 30 is equal to 1 by 2 and 1.5 can be written as 3 by 2 that is equal to sine of r. So 2 to get cancelled sine r is equal to a. 1 by 3. So refractive angle is equal to sine inverse of 1 by 3. So if you calculate this value that will come out to be 19.47 degree. So if angle of incident is 30 degree this angle of refraction comes out to be 19.47 means this angle is less than 30 degree. So this ray bends towards the normal. So this is our discussion that when a light passes from rarer to denser, it bends towards the normal. So this is also proof from this law. So thank you so much.